We've designed Bit Service Department Management Module so that the first thing you see when you enter service is the schedule for your techs and a summary of all the open work orders by status. You can scroll out to future days to see your tech's upcoming schedules. Note that you can also schedule resources like trucks, lifts, deliveries in addition to your techs. All employees can clock in and out of work using BIT's time clock function for purposes of determining payroll hours. Your techs can also use this to clock into a job and add notes about what they've done. This allows you to easily track both the tech's billable hours and their actual hours. We could start the work order as an estimate, and then when the customer approves it, convert the estimate to a work order. Or we can just start it up as a work order. We can search for a customer using part of their first name, last name, phone number, or if you have bit storage module, by their space ID number. Or we could add a new customer. Let's pick this one. And then we select a unit that we're working on. Of course, the system allows a customer to own multiple units. Uh, we could add a new unit for the work order, but let's select this ATV. Before we fill out the work requested, let's drill down on the customer and then the unit. You can quickly see the customer's purchase history, any open invoices, any special order parts. The contact history provides you with a running history of customer contact including indications that the customer received or opened the email you sent. These CRM features allowing you to send and record an email or add notes about conversations are easily accessible throughout the system. You can also add a credit card on file, attach pictures and PDFs to the customer's record. It also allows you to set special pricing for the customer and special tax rates. Let's close the customer tab and, re and return to the work order. As you click the link and drill down on the unit, you have easy access to the service history. Details on the unit and photos or PDFs that you've saved and linked to the unit. Speaking of photos, let's get back to the work order. If you're writing up the work order on an iPad or Android or Surface tablet, you can easily snap a few pictures of the machine from within the work order on a tablet, this button allows you to take a picture using the built-in camera, which makes it easy to walk out to the lot and snap a couple of pictures of the current condition. Or if you have the pictures or PDF saved on your computer, you can simply attach them. The tablet just saves you a couple of steps. Let's go back to creating the work order. You can type in, or on most tablets and some computers, you can speak in the customer's repair request. You also have the option of building custom canned work requests and selecting those. That saves you the time of typing repetitive things and allows all your staff to be consistent about how they describe the work that will be done. Adding parts to the work order can be done a few different ways. You can scan a barcode to put a, bar a part on. You can enter a partial part number or partial description and search for an item. You can import a, pick, a list of parts from a pick list or a system like PartSmart, or you can enter a package containing a combination of parts and labor. I'll add a flat rate package with parts and labor to, show, to also show you one of the ways of adding labor. As I enter the package, parts are added, then the system prompts me to select the tech who did the work, the date the labor was performed, uh, and the predefined tech notes are automatically added. Another way to add labor is by having the text clock in and out using the time clock and then the service manager can review and apply time clock labor to the work order with controls over setting the billable hours. You can break your work order up into separate tasks. This allows you to create another job description and group the related parts and labor and subtotal it up. You can create many tasks on a work order. The third way that tech time can be added is by directly adding it to the work order by typing in the tech ID and then entering billable hours, the day it was performed, and adding tech notes. If you need to order parts, the system knows that and prompts you to order them. BIT includes uh, 
helpful review screen so you can easily see the profitability of the work order broken down several different ways including by parts, accessories, and labor and breaking it down by task. When you leave the work order, you're prompted to update the status code. These status codes can be customized for your business. If you change the status code, BIT will prompt you to email an update to the customer. You can include a copy of the invoice or not, and you can skip the email altogether. If you do send one, it gets saved in the customer contact history we saw earlier, so you have a record. BIT provides several different views of the work order printout, including this one, with options to customize the layout. And you can easily run reports to track your technician efficiency. Hopefully you have a sense of how BIT can help you manage your service department so you can get more done in less time while providing your customers with better communication and a higher level of service. I didn't address everything in the system and there are settings to control some of these options, so I would appreciate an opportunity to take you through a detailed demo. Please click on the link in the upper right of our website to schedule a demo at your convenience.